What's going on guys? Welcome to a new episode of See the Lifestyle. I just want to sit down and talk to you guys for a little bit. I feel that I've been kind of out of it for the past couple months. I don't feel like I have a lot of stuff going on in my life right now to just kind of make it uh, entertaining. But that's just an excuse. I think a lot of people just wait for things to happen and things to come to them. And that's probably one of the worst things you can do in life in general because things don't just ever come unless you're really lucky. And you know, luck has nothing to do with being successful or anything. You have to make things happen. And that's just the way it is. And that's just the way my life has always been. I don't really have anything entertaining going on at the moment other than drinking my pre-workout and gonna go to the gym. I've just been kind of lazy in, in my fitness. You know, I've been eating whatever I want, not counting at all, not really caring. And you know, it's kind of been affecting me and I've noticed that. And that's something I need to kind of take into account and just kind of need to step back and realize that. Just start making better choices. This video, I want to focus more on doing more and just don't let things hold you back. Because once that happens, it's real hard to get back into the groove. Sometimes I don't feel that things are happening, so I don't want to like film anything. I don't want to create things because I don't feel they're entertaining for people to watch. But anyways, you know, the thing I love doing is, is filming and working out and, and just creating content in general. And that's something I have to keep doing and not get bored of doing it. I have to challenge myself to do things. One of the things I love about social media and the social media influencers that I follow is that a few of them do challenges here and there. Like Peter McKinnon, he does challenges. I, I love when people do that, you know? They have such a big following, they motivate a ton of people and me being one of them. I like to get motivated by other people and I like to have goals, you know? When I have a goal set in mind, there's nothing stopping me and it's just, one of those things, I'm in this weird like funk right now where I need to get out of it. Maybe you guys can relate where you guys have a, a time in your life or where you just kind of feel weird and you're just kind of like, you're not the same, you know you're not you. And that's where I'm at right now and I just need to get out of it. So today's plan is to drink this pre-workout. Let me take a sip actually. Go to the gym, get a good workout in it, sweat, go to the store and do a grocery haul. Another thing I want to mention is that making videos and you know editing them and just putting a, a show together, pretty much a production, doing that on your own, it's not easy. You know, there's a lot of people on YouTube trying to do it nowadays, a ton. And it's been like that for a while now and it's not easy once you start doing it for a while and then you realize how much work it is to, you know, film yourself and just get content and then start editing, go into the post production. If you don't know the software, if you don't know how to edit, it just becomes like this like this thing where you have to like learn a whole bunch of new stuff that you don't know. It becomes a job and, and that's not what I want this to become. I want this to be fun. I want this to be, you know, creative and I want to be able to create things that I like and that I believe others will like and will find entertaining, motivating, inspiring because at the end of the day, you got to do what makes you happy and, and this makes me happy so I got to get back into it. I got to get out of this like little funk I'm in and, and just get out there and you know, film with other people. I want, I want to be able to get involved with other people. Just find what you want to do and, and just pursue that and also if you have a 9 to 5 job that you have to go because that's what pays the bills, do whatever you want to do when you have free time. For example, on the weekends or whatever your days off are, do that. Do it when you have time. Do it on your own time. Invest your time on yourself. And that's what I try to do and honestly, I haven't been really doing that. I've been kind of out of it. Uh, but you know what? I feel like, okay, now I need, I need to get out of this and, and just continue creating content for fun and that's what I'm gonna do. But now let's go to the gym, let's get a little sweat going and then go to the grocery store. I'm gonna get a little boxing in, got my gloves, hit the bag, just kind of sweat, clear my mind for a little bit and that's the plan for this video. Just finished my workout, drinking some protein, about to have a power crunch. These are amazing by the way. Gonna go get some groceries after this.
All right, so I'm back from grocery shopping and I didn't get a lot of stuff. I paid under $100 for everything I got. So let's go through it real quick. All right, let me start off with Power Crunch. I normally get these when I'm cutting, but I just got them right now just because I like them a lot and I like to snack on them. They are delicious. So I got some egg whites. I always choose egg whites over regular eggs, although I did get some regular eggs, but egg whites are just, they're just so much better. You know, there's no carbs, no fats, it's protein. Egg whites over real eggs. I always tend to get the 96 for lean beef. Lean beef, try to get the leanest beef you can. Save some macros, you know, it's only 4.5 grams of fat. I got some pepper jack cheese because I love cheese, especially pepper jack cheese. This has to be my favorite cheese of all time. I also got a bag of steamed fresh veggies because they are easy to make and I'll probably have this for lunch tomorrow. I'll take it to work and just heat it up real quick. Easy veggies because health. Mostly everything I got is relatively healthy, except for this. I got some chips. I'm not cutting, so I do still wanna enjoy some foods that, you know, aren't as healthy, but I'm gonna try to keep it as healthy as I can. But these, I saw them, salsa ranchera. Actually, let me say that right. Salsa ranchera, Tostitos. They looked amazing, so I had to grab a bag. I also grabbed some chicken. This is my go-to chicken. Okay, I get this every single time I go to the grocery store because it's so much. It lasts me about a week, all this protein. So I always try to get as much chicken as possible because it's good, easy, and I enjoy it. For carbs, I usually go for tortillas. Yes, because I'm Mexican and I like them a lot. So I usually go for the Guerrero ones. These are pretty good. Macros are actually really good on them too. And here are the eggs. These are the eggs I get. I just get the normal, regular, first street eggs, you know, nothing fancy. I have eggs every once in a while because I don't eat them as often because I'd rather do the egg whites. But these are a good option to have. They have more fat than egg whites. One of my favorite salsas has to be paste, picante. It has to be the hot. Mm -mm, I love this. I also mostly always get these potatoes because they are really good. They have no fat. I love these things. The serving is actually a good amount. So now you might want to call me lazy, but I always get the chopped onions. Yes, I can get a whole onion and chop it up myself, but I'd rather just save the time and buy them chopped already. And I always get the almond milk. I usually get the unsweetened one just because it's got less calories than all the other ones. And it's pretty good. It doesn't taste that much different. And that's it. That is my grocery haul. And I paid under $100 for all this. Let me see the receipt real quick. $95.95 for all I got. I usually try to keep it under $100. Anyways, that's going to do it for this vlog. It wasn't as interesting, I feel like. Uh, it was more about renting. With everything I said earlier in the video, I think getting back to the roots, getting back to... Uh, you know eating healthier and buying all your food instead of going out every single time That's a good start to get back into your routine and just kind of kickstart your metabolism again Start eating healthy foods keep going, you know It's always better when you cook your meals when you buy your own stuff and Not go out and eat all the time because that's when it starts getting out of hand You go eat here you go eat there You don't know what's in a what and you're spending more money that way too. So buy your groceries save some money keep it healthy, keep it clean. So that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really trying to do more collaborations with other people because I think that's more fun. I get to go out and do stuff and make sick edits because that is what I love to do, make sick edits. But anyways, I'm gonna finish this video off here and I'll see you guys in the next one. And remember to always make it a lifestyle. Peace.